continental shelf. Pero if the natural prolongation of the land does not exceed 200 nautical miles, under the UNCLOS, your continental shelf is extended up to 200 nautical miles. So for example, the natural prolongation would end at 150 nautical miles, your continental shelf will still be at 200 nautical miles. Whereas, if the natural prolongation of your land would exceed 200 nautical miles, let's say it would reach 300 nautical miles, then that entire thing is your continental shelf. And after the continental shelf, you have your, what you call the area. So, parang equivalent siya ng the high seas. So, yun, just familiarize yourself with that. Internal waters, baseline, then uh, internal waters, then baseline, then after baseline you have territorial sea, 12 nautical miles. Then 24 nautical miles, you have contiguous zone. Then 200 nautical miles, you have the exclusive economic zone. Then after that, you have the high seas. So yun, um, more on the zones now. First is the territorial domain or the land itself. So this is the land mass where the people live or the subjects or the nationals of the state live. And then you have the internal water. So these are the bodies of water within the boundaries of a state or are closely linked to its land domain such that they are considered as legally equivalent to national land. So these include your rivers, your lakes, your landlocked seas, canals, and polar regions. So being part of somehow already equivalent to national land, so, there is no right of innocent passage here. So, meaning uh, ships of other or other foreign states cannot enter through these waters because that would be considered as um, intervention. No? So, there's no right of innocent passage here. Except if um, this, except if you apply.